some gold. There you go. You can you please make get on her clothes? Oh, good morning. She had a whole bunch good morning. Yeah, yeah. What is today? Wednesday? It's Wednesday. All right. How's everybody doing today? We got some noises going on over here. Hi guys. Uh, it is Wednesday. It is Earth Day today. So let's sing the old song around the sun, sha la la. Uh, we are gonna just get everybody just like a minute, maybe not even a minute, to get situated, and then we don't 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 go to town in that water. Um, and then we'll keep going with our day. Let's see, Paul, Leia. Good morning, guys. Can you guys. tell them what I was doing in the neighborhood? Well, you can. Yeah. You know what? Do you, you want me to? Back up because I forgot yeah. to do this yesterday. Did you get one of the pointers? Right. I can't do the rest well. Okay. <laughs> you anyways so, put it on back, right? <laughs> today is Wednesday and it is Earth Day. And um Wells came in this morning and hi guys, hi everybody. Um and Wells has been working on something that I was not really aware of. She has been collecting pine cones and she and, I did. and Kinsey was helping her as well so um, I was doing my own one and so even what, though I already have them um, in my hat okay. Okay. Sneaks. Uh, so Wells came up with the idea because today is Earth Day and Earth Day is a day that we celebrate our earth and the wonderful earth that we live on like the old clothes around this time yes 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 shh don't tell them that um so Wells came up with the idea that she's going to paint, right, mm -hmm. some of those little pine cones. And we live on a street that is a very quiet and um, not very many houses on the street. Well, it's a dead-end street. So There's lots of 12 houses. houses. There's 12 houses on our street. And so she's going to take Not those. like 12, but 13, because we weren't counting our house. So there's, after 12 comes 13. Right. So. So she decided that she's going to paint some pine cones, and after we're done with our Miss Megan's Camp Kindergarten, we're going to go leave the painted pine cones on everybody's doorsteps as a little mm -hmm. happy Earth Day. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you can come up with something to do on Earth Day, whether it's just w taking a walk outside, or playing outside, or looking for cool things in nature. Maybe you can find a bird's nest or um, maybe you can find a stick that looks like a letter. Um, that's my challenge to you, is to do something today for Earth Day. So, that being said, welcome to Miss Megan's Camp Kindergarten. I am Miss Megan. I have my daughter's Wells, who is my helper today. Trying to get on my underwear. Trying to get her clothes on, her doll. And Kinsey. Kinsey, please don't put that there. That and nice, we have some birthdays today, but guess what? Kinsey has a very special song that for I Earth think. Day that she sings at her she sings at her preschool on a regular basis, but it's kind of about the sun. So we thought that she could sing it for. We have a couple extra special can, first can. birthdays today, so she's going to sing it for those um, for Lincoln and Daniela who are well, celebrating their first birthdays today. But well, can you do um? The, the you want me to tell names? their names when mm -hmm. it's time? Please stop. Okay, you gotta be real. No, you gotta be quiet. So that can you can tell hear. the names when when um the song um draws mm -hmm. to the Why names? Why can't just do the bell? No, thank you. Please put it away. Thank you for being a good listener. All right, here's Kinsey's song. The earth goes around the sun, sha la la. The sun, sha la la. The earth goes around the sun, sha la la. Lincoln and Daniela. No, I want to say that. Oh, for Lincoln and Daniela's. First birthday. No, that oh, that's not how it goes. Okay, do it again. The earth goes around the sun, sha la la. The sun, sha la la. The earth goes around the sun, sha la la. And Lincoln. Lincoln. Is turning. It, no, Lincoln. No, Lincoln and who else? Daniela are turning one. Lincoln and Daniela are turning one. Right. Happy birthday, Lincoln and Daniela, turning one today. And everybody else whose birthday, let me get my birthday sunglasses on. Boop, 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 boop. It's birthday uh, time. Uh, so, the sad. other birthdays that we are celebrating today are Michael, who's turning six, Lyndon, who's turning five, 
I think Elsa turned six yesterday. We might have missed that one. Justin is turning two. Christopher is turning three. And it is also Gigi Maxine's birthday today. So if it is your birthday, happy birthday birthday and let's sing happy birthday to everybody happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday if it's your birthday happy birthday to you wait mommy all songs are as short as they try to go around the sun they are very uh short aren't they and they're the same short yeah all right let's See how everybody's feeling. Uh, Liliana's birthday. Happy birthday, Liliana. All right. Let us see how everybody is feeling today. Whoa. Ugh. Why did you put these on me, Kingsley? I gave them to you. Okay. Them did I get everybody's birthday? Awesome. Okay. If I missed your birthday, it is not on purpose. It is just because I didn't realize that it was your birthday. So it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Wells, can you grab me that? Pink capo over there to put on my guitar, please, quickly, now. Thank you. Wait, mommy, did the button not to have to Why push? Oh, it was not a bad it without it. That is a good question. Wells is wondering what this thing is that I use on my guitar. So here's my little shh, guitar lesson for the day. When I play songs, like if I were to sing, "Hello, everybody," right? My voice is right here. Hello, everybody. But sometimes I want my voice to be a little bit higher. So when I put this, this is called a capo. When I put my capo on somewhere on the guitar, it makes me have to sing a little bit higher. Hello, see how my voice is higher? Hello, everybody. So there's certain spots on the guitar neck where I put my capo to help it so it's just in the right spot for my voice. Like, Let's see how like on my snowflakes. Can Hello, you try on everybody. How are you? Hello, everybody. Earth Day is Wednesday, Wednesday. Yes, my birthday is next month. Whoever was just asking for a friend. No. Um, we are feeling pretty good over here. So let's all tap our heads. Those are too loud. Hello. Okay, Wells and Kinsey, I need some good listening ears, okay? No, you may not do the drums, and Wells, you need to pick something quieter. Hello, everybody. Tap your head. Hello, everybody. Tap. months of the year. Wells is my helper today, so she is going to help me with the months of the year. So let's Mommy, do you want to see, see the face? That. What, sweetheart? Yeah. All right, Kinsey, I need you to sit in your chair and be a good listener. Okay. I need you to scooch back. What? Where is the thing that well, come on. Um, I can... Well, not the thing that... Pick a pointer, please. Pick a pointer. Pointer right here. Pointer right here. Are you guys ready to help me with the months of the year? <laughs> All right. A one. A two. Wait. A one. I can't two. Reach yes, January. you can. January. Wait. January, February, March, April, May. We go outside Wait, and sh play, play, play. June, July. <laughs> August and September. Help me out. Back to school so we remember. Wait, there's a lot of stuff in my way. I won't can't reach you the drums. October, November, and December. We know our months so 
go. We end the song here. I need good listening ears, and you are not giving me good listening ears right now. Okay, we're gonna put this down. Mommy, we're gonna, forgot to do the hello song. We were doing the hello song, and you were not listening. Please have a seat. Thank you for being a good listener. You need to pretend like I'm Mrs. K. Do you act like this for Mrs. K when she's trying to teach? No. Sometimes I do. Well, I hope not, because that's not being a good listener. So have a seat. Turn on your good listening ears. Would you like me to turn them on for you? If you would like to sit on the floor, you can sit on the floor. That is fine. Right here. But I need you to turn off your off your mouth. Sit up nice. And be a good example for all the boys and girls who are listening. You are fine. I did not hurt you at all. Have a seat. All right. Thank you, Wells. Wells. Ooh, what month are we in today? April. April. Go ahead and show them. Come on, let's keep moving along here. April. A what are the letters in April? P R I L. April. April. Very good. Go put that in, okay? If you touch this or if I hear noises from it, then it's going to go away and you're not going to play with it today, okay? You can sit by it, but you're not to touch it. All right, let's do our days of the week. Wells, are we going to do our cha-cha-cha, our days of the week, or our Sunday Monday song? Which one are we not going to watch? Um, I don't think we've done days of the week in a while. Or, or yeah. Sunday Monday. Uh, we just did Sunday Monday yesterday because you wanted yeah, to do Yeah, I was going done. to do the days of the week. Okay, are we ready? Ready. You guys ready at home? Here we go. <laughs> Days of the week. Days of the week. I'm sorry, well. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Here we go. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Very good. All right, Wells. How are we going to figure out what day it is? Well, actually, we've been talking about it all day. Do you remember what today, what today is? Today is? Wednesday. Wednesday. Can you find the Wednesday up there? What letter does Wednesday start with? A W. A W. What sound does W make? W. Very good. Don't try not to move it around because it makes it hard for W. E. D. N. E. S. D-A-Y. Very good. Go put that up there. Or go put the blue one up there and put it where it's the yellow. No, 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 no. Take that off of there and put it in the yellow. You know what, Walls? I'd like for you to leave the red in the calendar, please. Mm -hmm. Going forward. We're not going to add those up there. It just well, I, I, I know. do. I'm not going to have you do that either. Okay? I'm making Find that things. little dot on the back and match it up. Mommy, do you know? Very good. Okay, Wells, if, uh, 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 if today is Wednesday, what was yesterday? You know, I was trying to trick you. <laughs> what was yesterday, Wells? It's not my birthday. My birthday is in May. In May is after April. Sweetheart, come on. Your birthday is after Pick April. Pick it up nicely and put it up there. Mommy's birthday is after April. That might be birthday is April. All right, if today is, oh, okay, what will tomorrow be if today is Wednesday? I don't think I heard you say what it is. What is tomorrow, Wells? It's mom and your birthday is going to be warm. I hope it's warm on my birthday. It's tomorrow's uh, going to be Thursday. Very good. All right, point to the yellow and repeat after me. That means I say it first. Today is Wednesday. Your turn. Today is Wednesday. Can you point to the red? Yesterday was Tuesday. Your Yesterday turn. Yesterday was Tuesday. My turn. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Your turn. Tomorrow will be Thursday. All right. Wells, can you please count um, our numbers so that we can see? I'm going to scoot us a little bit closer. Am I in the way? Yeah. Okay. Um, Wells, can you please point to the numbers? You okay over there? Okay. As we count them. Ready? Here we go. One. Oh, okay. I want to start on numbers. 
Nope, we're going to start from the beginning, and then you can start later. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need you to point with me, because otherwise it's confusing to the kids who are still learning their numbers where we're at. Okay? Please don't spin them around. All right, we're going to start again with number one. And Walls is going to follow along when we, when I count the numbers. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thank you. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22. 22. Kinsey, what did you want to say? What does a 22 look like? I, I whispered 22 in her oh, ear. Oh, okay. What does a 22? Well, I don't want Kinsey to say. Wells, what does a 22 look like? It's a 2 and a 2. A 2 and a 2. Now, what color is it going to be? Let's figure it out. Hello. Let's figure it out. We don't have to start our pattern all the way from the beginning. Where would you like to start? Let's start it from the 13. No, 16. No, let's start it from the 13. Yellow, Yellow red, red, red. Yellow, Yellow red, red, red. red. Yellow, yeah, red, red, red. Yellow. yellow. A yellow. Thank you. Today a is table. Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. Here you go. All right, while she's putting in that in there, let's see what the weather is today. And then we will sing a song. What's so let me turn you that way so you can see. There we go. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it snowy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it windy? Is it foggy? Is it what, what haven't we done? Is it stormy out today? <laughs> What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it cold out? Is it hot out? What's the weather like today? Happy birthday, Camila. Um, what is the weather where you are? Is it sunny? Go take a peek outside. Is it sunny? I hope so. Or maybe it's rainy. Sometimes rainy days are great too. It's raining a day. It's kind of, what, Walls, what's the weather like where we are here it's in Illinois? It's like, it rained last night, and it could rain this morning, and it could not. It, it did rain a little bit this morning already, and is it sunny out today? Mm, no. No, it is not sunny, so it is rainy. And cloudy. And cloudy. And, and cold. Rainy. And no, do, I, do you I think, feel like today it could also be part sunny. Well, but what is the weather right now? Uh, I don't know if it's sunny yet or not. It's not sunny yet. Let's put cloudy up there, please. Thank you. Why do they stop? I don't know. While Wells is doing that, Ow. Wells, is it cold or cool today? Can you just get off of the chair and put it up there, please? I just like Okay, well, while you're doing that, we're going to sing a song. So if you're going to take a long time doing that, then you might miss part of the song. What? Just find what it is. Cold or cool? Cool. Cool. And we are going to sing another song by Raffi. And it goes like this. It's about a sun. Mr. Golden Sun. Um, and it goes I mean, like... That's the song that I picked. I know. Wells picked out this song for Earth Day today. And it goes like this. I'll do it once without my guitar so that you can see uh, some of the motions that goes with it. Um, happy birthday guitar. yesterday, Emma. And we... We'll then do it with the guitar. It goes like this. Mr. Sun. Well, it's actually a pretty stretch up as high as you can. Stretch your arms high, high, high. And, and stretch them out wide. Oh, that hurts this arm because yesterday how sore it was. Yeah. All right. I'm bringing it back up. And make a circle. And we say, I know. Mr. No, sun, no. sun, Mr. Mr. Golden Sun, sun. please shine, shine down on me. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you 
to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. All right, you want to try that? I'm going to use my guitar on this one. I just said hi to Mrs. K. You did. Why don't I lose my pick every time I play the guitar? Because I don't put it back where I should put it, which I can always leave it here in my strings, and sometimes I forget to. All right, let's sing Mr. Golden Sun, and if you can remember those motions, that would be helpful. Walls, can you think that you can help me with that? Uh-huh. Here we go. It goes. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, sing a song about raindrops a little bit later. But in the meantime, let us, um, and mommy, what is my song actually was supposed to go I to the old yeah. goes around the sun challenge. Yes, Yay. but that was for the birthdays, yes. Yeah. All right, well, Wells I, picked, Wells' this day today, Wells picked out a Curious George book, and it is called Curious George in the Big City. Wells, will you do me a favor? I will wait, but can you grab my water cup very carefully so it doesn't spill? Thank you. Got it? It's really full. Very carefully. Thank you. Oh. You getting some water makes me thirsty. Ta da! Right. Curious George in the Big City by Margaret and H.A. Rays. This is George. I'm going to get a little bit closer so you can see the pictures a little bit better. This is George. He lived, in the, he lived with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George was in the big city. Let's stop here, George, his friend suggested. I would like to get you a holiday surprise before we get to see the sights. George loved surprises. He wanted to get a surprise for the man with the yellow hat, too. Why, here was a whole pile of surprises, all ready to go. Would one of these be right for his friend? George was curious. He opened a box and peeked inside. The box was empty. This was not a good surprise. George opened another box and another. They were all empty. Suddenly, the store clerk came running. Stop, please, he cried. You are ruining my display. But George did not want to stop. He wanted to go. He wanted to get away fast. Quickly, he climbed on the escalator. George went up, and the clerk went up, too. What George wanted now was to find his friend. What luck! George spotted a yellow hat on the escalator going down. Could that be his friend? George wanted to find out. Soon, he was going down, too. George followed the yellow hat out of the store and around the corner. See it right here? Mm -hmm. it, he chased it down some stairs. Where could his friend be going? Was, please stop. Was this George's surprise? 
No, this was the subway. George got on the train just in time. He thought maybe his friend was playing a game with him. But where was the man now? George looked around. The train was very crowded. Could that be him on the other end of the subway car? See that yellow hat right there? Hmm. It might be hard to get there. But not too hard for a little monkey. Suddenly the train stopped. And when the doors opened, the yellow hat disappeared. George followed as quickly as he could. There's the yellow hat. But he was too late. This was not a surprise after all. This was a mistake. The yellow hat was nowhere to be seen. Poor George. He was alone in the big city. How would he ever find his new friend? Hat. How would he find his friend now? Yes. So was he following the man with the yellow hat? No, it was just a woman with it. It was just a woman wearing a yellow hat and not his friend. Sweetheart. Soon George could see nothing but legs. He was surrounded by a crowd of moving people, and he had to keep himself moving so that he would not get stepped on. Then George heard a woman's voice coming from the head of the crowd. Going up, she said. <coughs> Hang on. Sip of water. Sometimes when you talk a lot and sing a lot, your, your voice gets really dry. Your throat gets dry. You need, you need some water. Thank you. Up, that was just what George needed. He needed to be high up, like in a tree or on the escalator. Then he could get a good look around. George joined the crowd as they got into an elevator and went up. Here was a good lookout. From up here, George could see a bridge, lots of tall buildings, and a little green lady standing in the water. That's... Do you know where she might be if she sees a little green lady standing in the water and lots of tall buildings? Where? Where you went no. once? I did go there once, yes, right. It's called New York City. Yep, and yeah. Daddy used to work Daddy there. Daddy used to work there, that's right. It's time to go, called the woman from the elevator. We have lots more to see. The crowd followed the woman. They wanted to see more. George wanted to see more, too. Soon, George was on a big bus driving through the city. This is called a double-decker bus. That means there's two... Um, two stories oh. of the bus. You could ride on the bottom of the bus or you could ride at the top of the bus. Like the train that we went on. Yeah. Like. Well, I never get to go on the red line train. You have not been on the red line train. But That's never, right. super ever. fun. Do you know That's why? Because right. you get to go underground. We live near Chicago. I and know. Chicago has... In our basement's underground. Chicago has trains that are called the L. And Wells has ridden on a couple of the different... L trains and one of them goes underneath the ground and that's called the red line and Kinsey is telling us that she's not ever been on the red line before. Anyway, side anyway. note. I know. I there, shh, the okay girls, so there was scary. lots more to see but no matter where George looked he did not see the man with the yellow hat. Back on the bus George looked and looked. Finally he saw something familiar. George was excited. He rushed inside, and he was sure to find his friend here. Instead, he ran right into the clerk. You're just the one I've been looking for to help me fix this mess, he said. George felt bad. He had not meant to make a huge mess. Could he help rewrap the boxes? George took some ribbon in one hand, some paper in another, and some tape in a third. So in a, in a foot. Yeah. Then, like only a monkey can do, George wrapped those boxes. Soon, a crowd gathered to watch. Everyone wanted George to wrap their boxes, too. Just as George tied his 25th quadruple bow, he spotted his friend at last. George was happy, but when he saw that the man was carrying a present, George became sad. He had forgotten all about finding a surprise for his friend. Then he had an idea. What do you think his idea is going to be? He's going to hide in a box. And you think so? Back. Did we read this story already? Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. But not so but George! exclaimed the man with the yellow hat. What a good surprise! His friend was very glad to see him. I've been looking all over the store for you, he said. And now I have a surprise for you, too. I think of the hat. George opened his surprise and put it on. It, oops, sorry. 
It fit perfectly. Now we're ready to see the sights, the man said. George held tightly to his friend's hand, and everyone waved goodbye. Let's be careful not to get separated again, the man with the yellow hat said as they left the store. The best part of the holidays is spending time together. George agreed. Yeah. You're riding in the horse seat. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, wait, Mom, All right. Wait, Mom, Your turn for the morning message. What, sweetheart? Come here. Can we do this today? Yes, but we got to do our morning message uh, first. All right, let's take a peek at our... Remember when we went well, on... Over here, um, please. Um, 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 remember when we saw um, a horse we got to ride in there? Yeah. And this is the same it, thing it, as that that's, time. That's right. Okay, Waz, well, I need you to scooch. I know, but I can't scooch because... Hey, Ken, come on over here, please. Right, you come sit with me for right now. Where's okay? my pink All right, Wells, guess what? What? There's some things... I need a lot of help from you today on this message. Why? Well, we got some sight words to look at, and we have some punctuation to fill in. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So I bet this is one of the sight words we're doing. Okay. That let's one. let's move along here. I'm gonna read it first, and you guys can read it after me. Good morning. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, Wednesday. April twenty second. You forgot the. I know. I know. Repeat after me. Today is Wednesday, April twenty second. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd. Good we pause. forgot the comma. I know, I forgot to take it out of there. It is the middle of the week. It is the middle of the week. The same number of days are on each side. The same number of days are on each side. Love, Miss Megan. Love, Miss Megan. Love, Miss Megan. This says love, Miss Mega. Because the end got erased. There we go. I all right. I did that. Wells. First of that. all, shh, first of all, uh, I need you to explain to everybody what different punctuation we need up here. What do we need after good morning? What do you uh, think? Exclamation point. Say exclamation. Exclamation. Exclamation point. Why do you think that you would like to put an exclamation point? Because we always do. Well, why? Also because we're happy to be back. That's right. We're happy to be back. And so we say it with enthusiasm. We say, good, good morning. morning. That's right. All right. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd. What do we need after that? Good morning. Uh, Today is Wednesday, April 22nd. A period. A period. Why do we need a period? Because then it tells us that we're at the end. The end of our, of our sentence or our thought. Very good. Okay. Here's going to be a tricky one. Let's see if you can figure it out. It is the middle of the week. Very good. We need a period after week. Because otherwise, if we didn't have a period, this is how we would read it. We would read it. It is the middle of the week. The same number of days are on each side. Mommy, I put what? Oh, that does not work. Look what I put there. Thank so you, it's so, so you we need a period right here so that we know that we're at the end of that sentence. All right? And where do we need another period, Wells? Here. That looks like a comma. Let's make it nice. The same number I of mean, days. No. Are, no, 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 no. I already put a period Wait, there. We actually don't need a period after Megan. But we do need something after love. What do we need after love? A comma. Very good, because we need to pause. All right, Wells, can you hand me my sight words, please? Our popcorn words? Why do I call them popcorn words? I mean, how about I hold the new one? Okay. I call them popcorn words because they just pop up, and we just have to know Is them. Is this the word if? Nope. We're going to learn two new words today. Off. Not off. On. Not on. If this is the word of. It does oh, not look easy. like it should be how it should be spelled. That's why we... Please don't do that. Okay. Why were you doing that? I just wanted to make sure it worked. No, thank you. That's why my markers run out. We don't use them on our skin. Okay? Please put okay. the cap back on. Thank you. This is the word of. Can you all say that? Of. Oh, yeah. Like, um... Oh, I should have some examples ready, but I didn't have any examples ready. I'm going like, to go. it is the middle of the week this week. Of, let's all say it together. I'm going to say the letters of. first. O, F, of. Your turn. That means you say it. O, F, 
of. Very good. And the other one that we're going to learn today is the word it. Can you it. all say that? It. It. I T it. Your I -T -it. turn. I T it. I T it. All right. Well, can you please find and everybody at home? The first word we're going to look for is the word is. I S is. Oh, no. Wells, you're going to use the blue to circle the word is. I know. I'm just getting all my colors. Kins, I know that you see it. I don't want you getting up there because then oh. people can't see, sweetheart. Let her do it herself. You got to do it yourself on your day. She's going to do it herself. Well, let's find the blue marker and circle the is is. I S is. Wells is going through each of the words to see if she can find the word is. Very good. There's one. There's two. Can you scooch over just a little bit that way? All right. You. Did you get them all? How many is's are there, Wells? Can you stop doing that, please? Two. Two. How do we make a two? Around and back. Around and back on the railroad track. Two, two. All right. The next word we're going to... Remember yesterday I made a nice two? Mm-hmm. You did make a very nice two. All by myself. The next word we're going to look for is the word the. T-H-E, the. Wells, can you find the thes? Two, two. There are three... Thus, can I you know find you all three? I know I'm, I'm letting everybody at home know that there are three so that they can find all three of the thus. There's one. There's two. And one more. That might be a tricky one because it starts with a capital T instead of a lowercase. Very good. You I found it. I just want to make sure in case. Remember the last time right. you said there You're right. two, but I found You're three, right. so that's why I'm just double checking. All right. The next word we're going to find is the word it. Can you find the word it? I T it. I T it. Wait, we forgot to say how many oh, there are. How many? How many of those are there? <laughs> Three. three. Around a tree, around a tree. That's the way we make a three. All right, well, that it. Was silly. There is one it up there, and it might not look exactly like my it, because the I is a capital I. Very good. One it. Start at the top, and down we run. That's the way we make a one. And finally, can you find the word of? O-F, of. Well, you're doing a great job. There's only one word of. What? Oh! I was seeing if she caught them all. There are two ofs. Start those circles at the top. Thank you. Very good. Better double check. Make sure you got them all. And while you're looking for that, we're going to review our sight words. Make your two at the bottom, please. T O two. I N. In. Keep going, Wells. Make that two at the bottom. I. I. M. E. Me. A. A. Uh. Make your two at the bottom. M. Y. My. Very good. Let's count and see how many sight words we have all together. Actually, Here we go. One. one. Wells, can you scooch over so they can see? Two. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make an S. Nope, other way, sweetheart. I would like for you to do it the other way. That's right, but that is, we want to make our S the correct way. So start over here and come around that way. Make an S and don't be late. Hurry back up and make an eight. Very good. If you need those number rhymes, um, there's a video up with all those number rhymes and how to make the numbers. So check those out in the announcements. Okay, um, we need to move a little bit. So before we go on, we are going to do the tootie ta. Wait, two. What? The top. We're gonna do the op word family when we're done with the tootie ta. Okay, girls, you gonna help me? Can I get this like up here? No. Nope. Right now, you're going to help Wait. me do the tootie ta. Why not? I just want to erase Fine. this button. You erase that, Kenzie. You help me with the tootie ta. A tootie ta. A tootie ta. A tootie ta ta. Let's put these down. A tootie ta. A tootie ta. A tootie ta ta. Thumbs up. Say thumbs up. 
A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta, thumbs out. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta, thumbs out. Say thumbs out. Elbows back. Say elbows back. Elbows back. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. My turn. Thumbs out. Your turn. Thumbs out. Thanks, Wells. Elbows back. Elbows back. Knees together. Knees together. A tootie ta. A tootie ta. A tootie ta ta. A tootie ta. A tootie ta. A tootie ta ta. My turn. Thumbs out. Thumbs out. Elbows back. Elbows back. Knees together. Knees together. Tushy out. Tushy out. Help me out. A tootie ta. A tootie ta. A tootie ta ta. A tootie ta. A tootie ta. A tootie ta ta. Thumbs out. Thumbs out. Elbows back. Knees together. Knees together. Tushy out. Tushy out. Tongue out. Mm -hmm. A tooty ta. A tooty ta. A tooty ta ta. A tooty ta. A tooty ta. A tooty ta ta. Thumbs out. Thumbs out. Help me out, please. Elbows back. Elbows back. Knees together. Knees together. Tushy out. Tushy out. Tongue out. Mm -hmm. Eyes closed. Hey, Wells, come help us, please. Mm -hmm. Just leave that alone. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. Thumbs out. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Elbows back. Knees together. Knees together. Tushy out. Tushy out. Oh, I can do that. Uh, what comes after tushy out? Thumbs up. No. Nope. What comes after tushy out? Knees together. Tongue out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eyes closed. All right, girls. I know. I'm just trying to stick this nope. up here. I need you girls to help me. You are not showing everybody who is watching how to be a good listener. Okay? Help me out here. Kinsey, you are Kinsey, come on over. We've got our elbows back, our knees together, our tongue out, our eyes closed. What do we do after that? Turn around. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. Thank you. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Knees together. Tushy out, tongue out, eyes closed, turn around, sit down. All right. Can we do this? Yes. Let me get a mark. Wells is going to lead us in our app word family. So, can you all think right now I know what of, okay. of, uh, of any words that we could add to our app word family. Let's use our lowercase letters when we're writing, okay? Yes. Here's a, um, let's not use our finger either. Sometimes it stains. All right. Tell us what you're writing, Wallace. Top. Top. Very good. Um, like I'm up top or the word top that you mm -hmm. spin. What else? What other words could we find? Kinsey, what other words could be part of the app word family? Kinsey, come on over here, please. Mommy, do you know what? If you read the Piggy and Harold book, it's, there's a word that has op in it. It's called slop. <gasps> Very good. How do you think we write slop? That's a blend at the beginning. Two sounds together make a sl. That's an S and an L. S -L Wait, K-I-N-S. A L. Very good. What There's does an L on my other name? Yes. S A L. Okay, sail. That's right. What does a bunny do? Hip hop. Hop. What sound does hop start with? Uh, an H. Very good. What else can you think of that rhymes with op? Wait, top. Yep, we have top. Slop, shop. Hop. Shop. How do you think we write shop? Mm, That's a blend at the beginning. Not, Sh not, not. Yeah. yeah, we'll do that one next. Two letters together make the sh sound. An not. S and an H. Not, not, not. When we make a P, we go down, up, and around. Mommy, I'm trying to see um what um sticks to this. I'm trying to see what down, sticks up, to and this. around. I'm yeah. trying oh, to you're see. trying to see what's magnetic? All right. Uh, mm, what else? Six. Mm. What is um, what sound does popcorn make? Pop. Pop. And top. Down, up, and around. Not. 
I'm gonna write these on the on the wall on the wall too, walls because not everybody can see when when you're writing them. So we have top. We have slop. We have hop. Kinsey, watch out, please. We have shop. We have pop. How about two more? Um, I have a good one. What's your good one? Kinsey, please come on over here. This sticks. Mommy, this. That does not work, actually. Look at mommy. But I wrote papa. Yes, but that does that sounds like it rhymes with pop, but it, it has an uh at the end, so that does not pop, belong pop. in our op family. Pop, pop. Our, op, sh, our op family has to end in op. Two more that rhyme with op. What do you use to clean? Ah, Wells wrote the word mop. cop. That is another word for police officer. Like mop. Cop. We can write that with a K or a C when we're working with our word mop. family. Mop. 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 The reason that we write things um, how we how we hear them, which is called phonetically, is um, at this stage of the game, a lot of kids are still just learning their sounds and how to put all the sounds together. So, if we uh, try to spell them correctly. Um, it can uh, sometimes lead to a little bit of confusion when they're trying to sound out words going forward. They'll eventually learn how to spell it the, the correct way, but not quite yet. All right, one more. Oh, you got fop on there? Good job. F-O-P. All right, and, ooh, that's a good one. Wallace came up with chop. Very good. All right, we are going to. Um, Wait, we what? still have more space. Yeah, well, we're gonna. We're can I erase this, mommy? Why can't read? I just keep writing while you, can you keep read writing. a book? Mommy, I, I want to erase You're this. You're gonna listen to the story. No, I want to erase it. You can erase this when we're all done. Okay. All right, we're gonna read another story right now, in honor of Earth Day, and it's called "Skip Through the Seasons" by. This was not on my list for today. This was a, I forgot it was Earth Day last night before I posted everything, and I found this book today. So, Skip Through the Seasons by Stella Blackstone and Maria Carluccio. Ta -da. This is one. Skip Through the Seasons. All right, Kins, I gotta scooch over just a little bit. Okay, please stop. All right, can you please listen to the story? Did you look when you Jump did did? into January. Come along with me. The local pond is glazed with ice. What can you see? What can you see? Wait, Mommy, remember um, when um, at the lake house um, the water was frozen? Yeah, you've, we've been on frozen ice before. I can see... What can you see, Kinsey? Um, people. You see people. Can you see skates? Skates and, and I see a dog. I see a hockey stick and a puck and you see a dog. Mm-hmm. Fly into February. Come along with me. The hillside glistens with white snow. What can you see? Kinsey, what can you see? I can see snow things. You can see what types of snow things? See some skis? Mm hmm Skis and poles and What's this snow. person on? And sleds A and sled. snowmen. That's right. We like to build snowmen. Whirl into March. Come along oh, with me. The yeah. wind is whistling down the street. What can you see? Kinsey, what can you see? Um, sand. Um, that is probably grass that's not quite green yet because it's still March. You see anything else? It looks like sand, though. What are these people doing? Um, playing baseball. Playing with the ball. This person is doing what? Bike. Riding a bike. Like when we ride a bike to the Splash summer. into April. Come along with me. The first spring rains are sweet and warm. What can you see? Kinsey, what do you see? Do you see umbrellas? Umbrellas? And rain boots? Rain boots and a cat. Oh, there's a little kitty cat over there. And a house. Do you like stomping in puddles and boots? We do. Yeah. Move into May. Come along with me. It's time to what? make our gardens grow. What May can you see? May is mommy's birthday. May is mommy's birthday. That's and right. What do you it's see going to be I hope it's warm. Right, you are doing a great job over there. Um, what do you see here, Kins? There's like no more flowers. What are these? Um, Lots of flowers in and, May. And roses. Roses. Race into June. Come along. Please stop doing that. Come along with me. Please stop doing that. It is loud and people can hear it. So please stop doing that. 
Race into June. Come along with me. It's so much fun to eat outdoors. What can you see? What can you see? What are they doing here in, this, um, in these picnic. pictures? A picnic. A picnic. We like to have picnics in our front yard, and don't we? scooters, ice skating oh, on the ground, scooters. and um, boarding on it, and bicycling, Bicycle. and swinging. She's swinging. That's not ice skating on the ground, roller skating. Roller skating, yep. Jive into July. Come along with me. The fair is full of games and rides. What can you see? Mommy, can I do something on this? Just without writing any words. So this is like the word side. This is like the color inside. What do you see, Kinsey? Everything. What, are the, what, what is something unique that you see? Look at what is this man selling? I see this. That's unique. Mm, unique. <laughs> Some bumper cars. Looks like they're at a fair mm -hmm. on a Ferris wheel. These are all fun things to do. Um while we are on this earth. Sail into August, come along with me. The sand is soft, the sea is warm. What can you see? Sailboats. Sailboats in the water. And People the building sand castles. Selling surfing. Slide into September, come along with me. It's time to go back to school again. What can you see? What Wait, can you see, sem Kins? Sem sem pen September. Sep is my birthday. No, September is Wells' birthday. Sep September is my sister's birthday. <laughs> I see a school bus. A school bus. And people somebody, and the teacher. There's the teacher. I see somebody jumping rope. And I see everybody. Going down a slide. I see everything. Twirl into October. Come along with me. The orchard trees are full of fruit. What can you see? Everything. Oh, look, I need a everything. Okay, can you come over and join us? That is a very lovely Ferris wheel. Everything. Everything. On the Some apples on those trees. Look, there's a little beehive. Mm -hmm. mm, fall is my favorite season. What's your favorite season? And, fall? And winter? And your birthday is my favorite season. Well, my birthday is not a season. My birthday is in a month. Uh, fall? No, your birthday is um, after April. Right, which is May. Fall, winter, spring, summer. What's your favorite season? Sweep into November. Come along with me. The leaves are dancing as they fall. What can you see? Fall is my favorite season because I love that the air turns cooler and crisp and the leaves turn color and I just love the smell of fall. Hmm. Look at this person's raking. Dance into December. Come along with me. Let's celebrate the turning year and everything we see. And there we go. That's the end of that book. And now can we All right. go play back? Not yet. Almost. All right. Before we move on, we're supposed to be talking about shapes this week, but we've been doing a lot of review and we haven't gotten to a lot of shapes. But there's something really cool that I wanted to show you that Wells did last year in one of her classes in her preschool. Her assignment, and maybe I'll make this an assignment for now you. Can I um, is, um, and maybe we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll sign this a little bit later once we've actually gotten through all the shapes, but she went on a shape hunt, okay? Oh, and yeah, I you remember? remember that. It was so fun. We, Can I show everybody? Sure. We did our shape hunt at a mall, and we took pictures of Wells finding all the different um, shapes that she knew. So let's bring it over here. So let's, hold on. This is Wells' shape book, okay? It says, Wells' Book of Shapes from Northbrook Court Mall. Okay, we're going to hold it nice and close so they can see. Rectangle. Wells found a bright yellow door to pose in front of. Do you see the rectangle? One, two, three, four. Four sides of a rectangle. Ooh, this one was a really fun one to find. Hold it up so we can see. Wells went shopping in the Lego store and found this cube in front. Hold on. I love let Legos. Me, let me hold this and, and you can point to the, um, hold on, so that they can all see it. Point to the shapes. There is um, a cube. Some people also may want to see me. All right, hold on. Let, just let me. Can't see. I understand, sweetheart, but there's glare and there's also, we need to hold it close enough. Thanks, Kinsey. Okay, stop. Thank you. Um, a sphere. This picture was taken in front of a movie theater, and Wells noticed the light bulbs were in the shape of spheres. Can you point to the picture of the square, Wells? We stopped for a snack, and Wells noticed the nine squares on the back of this chair. 
You see all the nine squares on the back of that chair? They're there. They're all right here. And up there. Mm -hmm. All right, a circle. This is the table we ate our snack at. See how it's in the shape of a circle? Wait, I came there too. And here's another rectangle. Wells found this black rectangle in front of a store and then found a circle within the rectangle. You see that? Mm-hmm. There's the circle. And I also find two more look. And the more circles on his sunglasses. And some more on mine too. Where mommy? All right, here we go. Mommy, a circle. A square and a triangle. Kenzie, shh. This is a picture looking up at part of the ceiling. It was kind of squares and triangles put together. A cylinder. Wells oh, found yeah. this neat shape as she was looking at the Build-A-Bears. You see the cylinder here? Circle on the top, circle on the bottom, and then connected. That's a three-dimensional shape. A 3D shape. Mm -hmm. A triangle and a square. Triangles were hard to find, but Wells spotted this one in the play area. And the square. Once we looked at the and picture, we noticed the square, too. So first we saw the triangle, and then after we took the picture, we said, huh. Look at that. Wait, I see daddy, daddy, daddy. That's our daddy, daddy all the way down there. A crescent. As we were leaving, we came across these door handles at a store. They're in the shape of a crescent. I think that was actually on the elevator. This one was a little bit of a stretch, but we found a heart. This picture of a pretzel was the closest thing we could find that looked like a heart. And why is that down below? I don't know. Maybe I was standing. And a star. The star was another hard shape to find, and Wells was pretending to hold it up. Can you see that star there? There it is. It was actually on the door when I was far away from that place, so then it... The end. All right, we're going to do one more song. Can you show everybody my favorite color and Wells' well, favorite color is pink, and this is a rectangle. And it's sparkly. And it's sparkly. All right, we're going to do one more song, and then and we're going to end our time the together. Back. I'm going to show you the back. Oof. You all right? Okay. Here's the back of the card. All right, our last song that we're going to do together is If All of the Rain Drops in honor of Earth Day. All right, everybody up. All of the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops. Girls, I need you to come join me right now, please. I'm joining you. All of the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops. Oh, what a world it would be. I need some good listening ears. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide, singing ah, 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 ah. Well, stop. I'm sorry, guys. We have to stop for just a moment because Wells needs to turn on her good listening ears and come join us sing. Can you put them because I was Wells? Wells. Don't worry about it. We're almost done. Okay? All right. I'm sorry, guys. Let's do the, uh, the snowflakes. If the snowflakes were candy bars and milkshakes, that would be delicious, and I would want to stand outside with my mouth open wide. If all of the snowflakes were candy bars and milkshakes, Bubblegum and ice cream. All of the sun beams were bubblegum and ice cream. Oh, what a world it would be. What would you do, Kins? I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide, singing ah, 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 ah. Oh, what a world it would be. Do you know why I would stand outside with my mouth open wide? So I could catch all the candy falling from the sky and all the hailstones with lollipops and snow cones. All of the hailstones with lollipops and snow cones. Oh, what a world it would be. What do we do, girls? I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide, singing ah, 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 Oh, what a world it would be. Oh, what a world it would be. Oh, what a world it would be. 
Our time has ended today. Yeah. <laughs> Spoken like a true child, right? Um, I hope you all enjoyed um, our time together today. I will see you tomorrow, Thursday. Um, we'll have some more fun things to do and sing and uh, learn. And yeah, enjoy your Earth Day today. Do something for the Earth, whether it's just enjoying it or doing a little craft with it. Um, remember that what makes you different is what makes you beautiful. Always be kind and always have fun. Always have fun. See you tomorrow.